Hi folks, Mikey Bly here, back with some more Do Not Love Violators will be short today and um, I thought that the first thing we should probably do is go through these other two options at the end of this current chain of events where we have offered our intimacy to Carmen and then all that kind of stuff and then we have that heady discussion about what are we going to do now. Um, so I put Remain Intimus for the first time which gave us a bit of a uh, ending. We talked about mercenaries and how much we didn't like being mercenaries, but it's the top option. We should really do it just for clarity on all of the possibilities, right? There's no other choice. I grimace, but the sad truth is we have to return to being mercenaries. Carmen stays silent. I continue. If what the girl said earlier was true, then we really don't have many choices. If we can't stay as intimate, then being a mercenary, it's all we got. Yeah, I wonder if that in I wonder if that entails like ratting out other into my intimacies. Uh, I wonder if that's part of it. You know, doing catching criminals for the extra money, that kind of thing. That's what mercenary sounds like. Right now, people that maybe we used to hang out with. Mm. Maybe? I squeeze her hand in an attempt to affirm her. She smiles and squeezes my hand back. Yeah, you're right. Stop worrying about it. Things will work out in the end. Who am I talking to while saying these words? Carmen? Or myself? Is there the same nearly discussion that we had? when I picked it stays intimus, right? Of course, I'm not worried. Complete. It's, it's the same, it's the same sentences so far. She grins, as long as we're together, things will work out. She's got so much faith in the pair of us. I feel it in my heart. Remember just how we got into this position? All my fault. Cameron shouldn't be here lying sick in the pier. She should be in a bed with Magdalena, yeah, da, da, da. same thing, isn't it? Again, not here with me. Let's say that. Hey, then we'll be fine. Okay. What's the difference here? You notice all this time I'm being eaten alive with fear. I don't want to go back to being a mercenary. I don't want to hold a gun again to kill a person again. Oh, being a mercenary really does sound down and dirty, doesn't it? I don't want to be treated like a slave anymore. Not when I promise you better things. Did I really do the right thing? Is this really all I could do for my childhood friend? Is this all I can muster? Like, okay, I don't see anyone come back all this time, that's all I've been doing. So I can say, yeah, same, 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 same sentiments again here. I see the fell silent, yeah, they are, stares in my eyes. I can see my reflection in hers, smile away. But if I want to remain being her partner, to give it my all, the only way I could repair her, it'll be fine. Together we can conquer anything, right? Okay, right, and then right, 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 yeah. Of course, right? So is this... We can never win. So neither this... Okay, so I guess... Let's get to that bit again. And this time we'll do the lying, which also I didn't want to do. All three of those options didn't seem like good options, but I want to tick all of that that timeline off. So I'll go back to the streets. Next time we'll we'll go to the plaza. Next time, oh no, we'll accept this. We'll accept this offer next time and see what it is. That's what we'll do. Just so we can do all of the hit the streets section of the story. So, and then we'll do the okay. I'll do it. And then we'll do this, and then we will pick <laughs> lie because lying to your best friend is always a good idea. Oh God, what are we gonna? How? What kind of lie is this gonna be? I can't see Carmen like this. I'll do everything I could to return that smile to her. Not all possibilities. There's a third option, Carmen. Still don't know where I'm going with this one. I'm just, I'm just off the cuff here. I'm just uh, right by the seat of my pants. Even if I know it's impossible. Even if I know it's irresponsible. Really? I will do everything. 
Yes. It's simple in hindsight. Oh no. That's never a good start to something that probably is not simple at all. To save the girl who saved me in those fateful days. Uh, we just need to escape now. Oh my god! Running away! Oh. Well then. Yes, I went. That's, that would be a whole interesting other little thing to be thinking about, really. Well, the last time we got that little, yeah. Wow, so those ones, I think when you get those endings that just give you a word and then the definition, they're kind of like, good, good endings, good. Like we got one when Rain has decided to stay with us and become an intimus with us. We got one when we suggested escaping. So is that kind of a hint that that's a, that's a good path that, that could work? I don't, I don't know. I really don't, but that, man, that was interesting. Just, just taking off the rest of that little storyline. So this time, oh, sorry, you'll get used to seeing me do this skip thing. Skippity doo, skippity dee, skippity dee doo ba doo ba doo ba doo ba doo ba Da, 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 da. Go back to the streets and accept the suspicious offer. And let's see what happens if we accept it. Oh my word, I nod. Carmen smiles and nods back. Yeah, because she leaves me to make the bloody decisions. God damn, this intuition of mine. All right, we turn back to the waiting girl. Okay, Leonora, show us what you got. All right, but not here. Let's meet later at 12, at the pier. Oh, well, isn't that a funny coincidence? That's where we ended up when we arranged to meet Rainer at the pier in the other timeline. Interesting. All right then, lots of stuff seems to go down at the pier. Guess because it's not in use anymore, huh? We're in too public a place. And one more thing. No more clients from now on. Come and shakes her head. No oh, can do. Times are tough, Leonora. We need all the cash we can get. I thought you knew that... Cameron's words are cut off when Leonora throws something at her. Cameron catches it. She looks at it, then tosses it my way. Don't throw it at me, I can't catch it. Oh, thanks. Great, now I have to pick it up. It's a satchel full of meal tokens. A satchel full? That sounds like a lot. Will that suffice? No clients. I'll cut off your hands if I find out you went against me. Oh boy, this might have been a bad move. Already getting threats to cut our hands off. Fantastic, that's a good start. That's an urban myth. Once you're infected, cutting off the touched area doesn't help. Might as well just kill us. No. Infected or not, I want you both. Just don't let me see you both tonight, like her. Her? Huh? Who? Yeah, that's just what I was going to say. I was like, did I miss a part of the conversation? Did I, sorry, did I, did I pass out for 30 seconds and miss something? Leonora looks at me. Oh, sh from the beginning of the game, the very first time we played. The oh, shoot, the girl who died. You saw that? I've been watching you both for a long time. Who the hell does she work for? What does she want us to do? She can't be police, because she'd been watching us for a long time. We'd have been arrested. She would have just blown, whistleblown on us. She, there's some shadowy background organization going on here. Jared, what is she talking about? Nothing important. She then snaps around. Just follow my words and everything will be fine. And disappears. I feel Cowan grab the hems of my coat. Jerick. I know she's still curious. Yeah, about what happened. Well, you know, it's just a little thing. It's fine. Someone died on me. It's cool. Don't worry about it. Like I said. There's nothing. I smile, but Cowan still looks a bit grim. Come on. Let's get some food to eat. Okay. Carmen had any more questions. She didn't ask them. 
She could probably see my face. It's not something I want to talk about. She could also probably guess what happened, to be fair, in this day and age and Neil Manila. Come on, I mean, it's pretty obvious, isn't it? Two and two together shouldn't be too difficult, should it? We both leave the sea to go to the nearest food bank and to find something to do. Burn some time until midnight. Yeah, that must be hard. I bet there's not really much in the way of entertainment in this kind of place. Hmm. So cold. Though the shipping containers of the pier try their best to block the winds, the air from the sea still flows through the gaps. Add to that it being the middle of the night, and our thick clothes serve no match. The night air chills me and Carmen to the bone. Did the Leonora girl say where we should meet up? Nope. Then how will we know where she... Oh, never mind. Speak of the devil. And she shall appear. In front of us appears a familiar female. Leonora. Evening. How are you doing? Thank you for following my wish. Well, you know, considering the threat you were chucking out, we thought it was probably for the best. She says this with an uncharacteristic, elegant bow. Oh, right, now she's getting all formal on us. It's not much of a wish if you threaten cutting off our hands otherwise, right? Ha! <laughs> Damn right, Carmen. Gee, took the words right out of my mouth. Hmm. That's so. Still. Thank you. I look around us. To our left and right, we're surrounded by shipping containers several feet in height. Yep, standard, 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 standard seaside kind of thing, you know. Me and Carmen use this place often due to the lack of loiterers or police. It's been a while since me and Lillard exported any sort of goods. Yeah, we know. Lives on donations now anyway. Oh, interesting. I like the way when you go down different paths of story, you get these little different bits of information that you didn't get in other playthroughs. But uh, there's something about these metal walls. Hey, um, if you're going to explain to us the details of the job, just do it quickly then. Let's get out of here. I've got a bad feeling about this place. I feel like other versions of me have suffered in this place. Why? Even Carmen? Carmen? I can't even say her name anymore. That's how bad a feeling I've got. Carmen's looking at me, confused. I don't know. Just a weird feeling. And in a strange change of expression, the girl smiles. What? That's weird. As expected of the Jericho. Don't worry. This will be quick. She knows too much about me and the way I act. Mm. Leonora takes something from inside her court. Before turning around and walking away. What? Don't struggle too much. What? Ah! What the? Oh, something shakes me awake. What the fuck? Whether it was the hardness of the floor, or how cold it is, or the sounds and vibrations coming from it, I find myself regaining some consciousness. What is this? Some kind of elevator? My first instinct was to move my body, and I almost do it before I come to and remember what happened. What did happen? Why am I in the ground? What are those sounds? What happened at the pier earlier? They're all very good questions, Jericho. Any, any way you can maybe find your way to figuring out the answers to them for us? I don't like that noise much. Those weird grinding sounds continue. Slowly, I open my eyes. Indeed, the sensation that my cheeks are feeling is the floor, as anticipated. And in front of me, also laying on the floor, it's coming up, thank God she's with me. Although this could be bad, because what if we're both heading towards him in a death? I'd rather it was just me, to be fair, but uh, her eyes are closed, but before I could panic, I noticed the rise and fall of her chest. Good, so we're both alive. That's a, that's a checkbox in the so far so kind of good column, I guess. 
Looks like she's just knocked out still. So, okay, this might not be too bad. Leonora might have just knocked us out because the way she took us, she doesn't want us to know where we are. Although there's better ways of doing that, Leonora. Beside Carmen are the boots of multiple men and one of a girl. Wait a minute. Oh, Leonora's, okay. Wait, so slow? Who's saying so slow? Why is this got question marks? Oh, okay. The rough voice of a man, I don't know, complains. Oh, he's talking about the elevator being slow, I guess. What is it? A freight elevator or something? Be patient. You know, Miss Leonora, before you were even born, I've been working an office job in a multi-story building. Believe me, elevators are not this slow. Clerical work, huh? Maybe if you climb the rungs of society better, you would know why an elevator like this is this speed. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, I like the way that the view's changing. Oh, that's pretty cool. I wasn't just a salary man, you know. I was in army reserve too. And yet you're here. Nothing more than a mercenary. Oh, we've fallen in with the mercenaries. Oh, so that's what they had a feeling actually, you know, considering mercenary was one of the options we had in the other storylines. Mercenary? They're mercenaries? Oh no. No, no, no. Is that the reason why Leonora wants us? No need to be arrogant, young miss. Maybe if you stopped complaining and asking stupid questions, I wouldn't have to talk down to you. Ooh. Jeez, Leonora seems like she might be rougher than Annabelle. The man sighs and clicks his tongue. Just don't understand why you need all this manpower for these two nobodies. One, two, three, four, five. Five pairs of boots, including Leonora's. They're not nobodies. Do you not recognize them? No. They're Jericho and Carmen. Wait. Why are we bringing such dangerous people to us? Because I need them. I don't know what you're thinking, Miss Leonora, but we definitely do not need someone on the most wanted list. And what about the payroll? Miss Leonora, that's just how it is. What, what does that mean? Miss Leonora, are you hearing yourself? Yeah, she's right, Miss Leonora. A new voice chimes in. They also haven't been mercenaries for a while now. Who knows? They probably don't even want to return to this lifestyle anymore. He's right, you know. What does this woman think she could say that will convince us back to being mercenaries, apart from the fact that she kind of can hold us hostage? We might not have much of a say in the matter here. I don't need them to be just like before. Huh? Then what's the point of getting them at all? That's just the way it is. What? The others join in. Now all four locked in a bickering fest against Leonora. I took this chance to steal glances from my position. Indeed, like the boots told me earlier, there were four mercenaries around me, including Leonora. Wait, I thought there was five pairs of boots. Their belts, where their holsters should be, are empty. Okay, a civilian being caught with weapons has strict consequences. My cheek returns to the ground. Only to be met with the half-opened eyes of Carmen. There's no grogginess behind them. Cool, she's alert. Great, we're both up, we're both alert. 2v5. It seems she already got a handle on the situation too. Shut up, you idiots! In the middle of the argument, the voice of a gruff old man speaks up. Oh, gruff old man? Okay. You're too noisy! What if you wake them up? Silence. Too late for that, I'm afraid. Shh. Keep it a secret. Come on, make sure they're still out. This wasn't part of Leonora's job offer. To be fair, it wasn't much of a job offer anyway. She didn't really tell us like anything, to be fair. I feel the presence of two figures approach us. The first instinct is to fight and break free, of course. But in doing so, that might worsen our situation. Yeah, because then we might have mercenaries on our back all the time, as well as no customers. We'd be in a lose-lose situation there. Leonora's already being attacked, for some reason. If we do something, we might just make things worse. So, should we just play dead? Maybe this is part of the job. 
sure doesn't sound like it, but we don't even have a second to decide. I glance at Carmen. No words are needed. She'll follow my lead. No, nah, this doesn't seem like a very good idea, does it? Let's do the let's do the play dead. I glance at Carmen, and with the most minute movement I could do, I shook my head. No, being knocked out isn't exactly something I would just let this lean old girl get away with. But now is not the time. They may be unarmed, but they still outnumber us two. And if they're mercenaries, then there will be no hesitation for killing. Not to mention, this may still be part of the job. Yep, yeah, live in hope, I guess. If we start making a ruckus, all this trouble we got into will be for naught. This Leonora girl better know what she's doing. Well, we better know what we're doing, too. I didn't wait for Carmen's reply. My eyes closed naturally, and I loosened all my muscles. Well, oh, it'd be nice to get some sleep, fitful as it might be. The figure of the Merc looks over me. His hand grabs my neck and inspects my knocked out face. Is this convincing? Ah, oh, my, my guy. I thought you unconscious. Still out cold. This one too. We both passed the test. Wouldn't like to know what would happen if we didn't. They stand up and I could hear the once more reignited argument between Leonora and the others. Boss will be happy about this. Nonsense. I'm his superior. His feelings have no bearing to this matter. Look, Miss Leonora, you're still young, so I can understand somewhat. But that attitude of yours will get you into some sticky situations. I'd like to see him try. The girl spoke not with an arrogance, nor stubbornness. Just very matter of factness. She seems a very matter of fact kind of person. She was just cold and collected. Almost robotic. But I could see where the man's coming from. It can rub some people the wrong way. And if she annoys the wrong person, then we might get screwed in the process. Oh yeah, that's right. She might turn up with us too. And even if the boss of the Mercs is technically Leonora's inferior, he might still decide to just kill us on the spot and just say, I don't care what you say, you can't do anything with them if I kill them both. Hmm. The elevator slows down to a halt. Well then, moment of truth time. We've arrived. Carry them. My body is lifted and I put on the shoulder of a giant of a man. So muscly. Oh, the dream. Ow. Well, it didn't last long. Carmen's not that far off beside me. We walk out the elevator, and I try my best to peek through my eyelids. Oh, that's the most difficult thing. Trying to, like, kind of just sneak one eye open a tiny wee bit and try not to be caught. Oh, well, it looks like we managed it, though. It's an old, musty lobby. Place seemed to be, seemed to once be a place of high living, but those days are long gone. Under the grime, it still contains some of its old glory. Wooden ornaments on the wall, marble floors. I'm surprised this place hasn't been ransacked by looters after all this time. I shut my eye off when the group comes to a halt. <laughs> Back to being sleepy. All right. Leonora girl begins to back out orders in a lower voice. Bring these two into one of the storage rooms. Tie their hands up, then... Miss Leonora, just what in the world is this? I resist my temptation to peek. It seems our friend has been approached by a man. Based on the footsteps, he's followed by an uh, entourage of sorts. And based on the humidity of the room... It's quite a bit more than Leonora's support team here. None of your business. Step aside. Well, I believe it is. Those are my men you borrowed there, and I believe they're there for your protection. Not for abducting whoever these are. I feel the hair pulled on my forehead. Wait a second. Based on the tone of his voice, he knows who I am. Oh, no. 
Looks like he at least recognizes who we are. Put them down. I will not have any more of them. Put them down. Seems like the question of who wins the power struggle is answered. The man throws me on the floor like a sack. That must be hard to not react to when you're pretending to be unconscious. I hear a similar thud beside me. Sorry, Carmen. What have I got us into? My breathing goes a bit erratic. Partly because of the shock of the landing. Partly because I have no idea what the hell is going on. But mostly because that bloody hurt. Should I even continue the act? It seems the attention is not on us. Miss Leonora, explain this. We're overstaffed as it is, and you're thinking of bringing on more? And not just any Merc, <laughs> no, but the most wanted in all of Neo Manila. I'm your superior. I don't have to explain anything. Is this your scheme? Master's scheme? Master? Leonora doesn't reply. So we could take that as a yes? The man sighs. And I hear the sound of an unclasping holster. Uh oh. And the cock of a gun. Uh oh. Exactly what I said could possibly happen. I feel the barrel pointed straight at my. Oh my flip. No. What are you doing? Fixing the problem. Oh my god, it's exactly what I said might happen. This is none of your business. Put your weapon away. There is no sound of obedience. Put your weapon away, or I will banish you from this household. There's a shake in her voice. Almost inaudible, but for someone as highly attuned as me. Yeah, I picked it up. If my senses were on overdrive, I would miss it completely. I hear hesitation. The gun is slowly lowered. Oh my word. I'll make sure you die a slow death on the streets. Starving. Forgotten by the family, despite all your years of servitude. He's hesitating, but he hasn't put away the gun yet. Leonora's voice is regaining confidence. Now, you should... They'll forgive me. Sorry, Leonora. No, no, whoa, hang on, whoa! What? What did she say before that? The, what did she say before the end there? Did she say, I guess the reason you cut up is because we died. Oh, shit. What was her scheme, though? Is there any way of finding out? Maybe if we try and fight against them, we find out what she was planning. Maybe. God damn it. I wasn't expected to just zip out like that. Uh oh, son of a bitch. Well then, we certainly secured more endings, but we still haven't really... I mean, I mean, telling Carmen that we need to escape the Manila was kind of a... It's a, it's a pipe dream, but maybe we found a way to do it. Who knows, right? Who knows? But yeah, that wasn't the best. Oof, that, I don't want to think about the horribleness of that. But we'll go down that route again, and then when we come to the choice of whether to fight or not, we'll we'll fight next time. Okay, but that's not for now. That's for next time round, when we come back. And, um... Oh, jeez, we, we are not far away from taking off the last three endings, are we now? Uh, we'll fight the mercenaries, which will probably lead to another death ending, I would imagine. And then the other two endings must be if we go to the plaza and... Approach Rena and her crew. So that's where the last two endings probably lie. Wow, that's so intense. I love it. I love how much story and how how much is going on with this game. And that's why I've been keep coming back to it and getting all of the endings because it's just too good to not do so. Wow, so good. So good. All right. If you want to have not played this for yourselves yet, um, as I have done with all of the previous parts, the uh, link to the game is in the description below. So if you want to go play it yourselves, See if you can sneak out these other three endings before I do. Or, you know, if you just want to experience it for yourselves, do it! Highly recommend it. But before you do that, do not forget to want the like button. If you've enjoyed another slice of Do Not Love Violets, it will be short from me. And don't forget to want the subscribe button too if you want to pop on back and check out the other games that I play. 
I've been Mikey Bly, and I hope you all have yourselves a fantastic morning, afternoon, evening, <clears throat> sorry, or night, <laughs> and I'll see you all next time around. Bye for now. Thank you.